Hello everyone, and welcome to the German Grand Prix with Apex Racing League. So as normal, you join me on my outlap for my qualifying lap, and of course driving the Williams. Now I'm on options, usually I go for primes in quality, because that's the best strategy in the race, but it's a 100% chance of rain in the race. So it's more than likely going to start raining, and if it doesn't start raining, it will be raining very, very soon after. So warm up tyres nicely then, come around the final corner now. I'm already up to third place. 13.461 but it's not been a fantastic lap I can certainly beat it to come to the first corner to be careful not to cut the corner it's very easy to do or extend it I've just about managed to do that did actually lose a bit of time I uh, worked out lost about a tenth to my teammate in that corner alone coming to the next corner I absolutely nailed this one as you can see nailed the apex nicely got on the throttle very early get a bit of oversteer there but not too much didn't really compromise me too much and DRS is wide open then using about half my curves for the run out of that corner 300 stuff myself but unfortunately already over a tenth and a half down on Christian for pole a lot but hopefully getting it back in the middle sector we'll see so braking then very very heavy braking point now down to this very tight hairpin on the exit trying to minimize wheels once again which i've done nicely using the rest of my cars on the exit with drs wide open of course so pissed off there not got a lot of fuel left at all for this final lap and so i was accidentally voted there to end the session didn't mean to and i've nailed my apex nicely there got the throttle very early drs is open then to close it briefly for the apex there and open it once again on the exit Comes the end of the second sector then. I'm now 300s up, so only suddenly slightly up my previous lap. And I nailed the apex beautifully. Cut it as much as possible. And now only a tenth down on Christian. So I've gained some in the middle sector. Can I gain more and take pole position then? Come on the final sector now. Here we go. The RS is open then for the run to the double right hander. Final corner. Oh, final corners, really. And once again, not quite cutting it there. Just about managing to keep at least two wheels on the track then. The RS is wide open for the run to line then. What's the time going to be? It's the one minute 13.350. Third place, so not bad at all. Not quite good enough for pole, unfortunately. About two tenths off pole. That was pretty much my only practice on option tyres, so couldn't expect to get a perfect lap out, but I'm happy with that. Just behind my teammate there in second place. And as expected, it is raining for the race. Intermediate tyres then. So here's my setup. High large discs, interestingly there. Quite often go for that now though. 11 11 balance. The usual suspension. Full gearbox. And full left alignment. Full left camber. Full right toe. Strategy then. So lap 17, I reckon I should pit. I'm going to have to pit, but I'm now going to test how long I can go. The game reckons I can go to about lap 22 or so on the tyres, so we shouldn't be too worried about tyres. And I'm going for normal fuel. So here we go. This is the grid. As I said, Christian there on pole. Decent lap from him, quality. Teammate there, second. Tenth back. And we have further tenth back in third there. So here we go then. I've been doing pretty well in practice for this track, so hoping I can get a good result. I start this race nine points ahead of Onage in the lead of the championship. So fingers crossed I think it's done that lead then. So four lights, five lights. Build up the revs and they're out now. So we're going away from the grid. Trying to very, very tricky to minimise. We've been off the line there. Just about managed it. They've got a half decent start. I'm, I'm nice about my team. But oh, he breaks very early. I have to take a void. Actually, then I get hit from behind. Hit from behind and go very sideways. But luckily, somehow, someone spun that. Somehow managed to hold my position. And... Hold it on the track. That was a little bit fortunate there. Could have got spun round, much like that other car did. That was Zomaka. So a little bit fortunate there. That was boring wave that caused that. He's been given a grid drop for the next race. So I said a little bit fortunate, but it has certainly lost me time. Lost well, at least a second to the guys ahead, I would say. And then a triple break very early there for the first corner. I was going to swoop in nicely, hopefully undercut him for the next corner and be up his inside. But he turned, he braked so early that he blocked my racing line, really. Fair move though. He just surprised me how early he braked. So, coming to the middle sector then. So, only just still behind Christian though. Didn't manage to quite get past him, but he's battling him now as I've run a little bit wide there. He's been very aggressive in this wet. I seem to have settled in nicely to the grip straight away as I've run wide there though. Don't want to be doing that too often. As I'm now 1.1 behind Onish, I've lost a bit of time. Only 8 tenths to include behind, and he's trying to push, pull out the gap if I can. Looks like I've already gained on them to me. Coming to the final sector. So it's going to be intermediate tyres then, as I mentioned before. Look, the rain looks fairly light, so I suspect we'll probably stay on inters for the whole race. So come around the final corner now. Pretty tricky, especially in the wet. Double apex. Double corner really, but you do of course have to take a double apex because of that. I'll do 39 first lap then. Try and avoid cutting or extending, just about extend it a little bit there. Just try and correct that for next lap. And I clarified before this race that you're allowed to get your wheel onto the white line but over the white line is a step too far so needs to make sure I try and correct that for the next lap don't want to be getting a post race penalty but I've managed to gain on the guys ahead then now I'm just a second behind as they're battling hopefully they should be holding each other up nicely now yeah, very much side by side coming to the hairpin then Kadoni to get past on the inside looking good for him but I think he's outbreaking himself has he? no he's not he's got past can Christian get back to the next corner 
Looks like he might have got a better exit. I'm a lot closer to him now though, using a bit of curves. I'm now in the slipstream as well. As Christian looks like he's up the inside there. Very which he is indeed. And probably going to get the move done, is he? They're still side by side. No, it's all fair. Still side by side. So there's no one that, no one got past yet. And I'm able to close in nicely as Christian's gone pretty wide there. So I'm really close by now. 2 minutes 28 going into the gap. That's clearly not right. Try and undercut him in general. Oh, nearly managed it, but he lagged a bit. So I've not gone purple fast to anyone. As Christian's run a bit wide there. But we don't quite manage to get past. Let's look at how close this is. Well, maybe a bit of a mistake there. Falling back a bit, but there was probably a couple of tents covering the whole top three. As Christian's run a bit wide once again there, but doesn't really lose any time. Hard and throttle on the exit then. In the slipstream nicely. So I'm still on Rich. I do do a fast lap of 24.5. So, try not to cut up, but I managed to extend, but of course, this time, I had dirty air. Took it a bit easier, but I had dirty air. Didn't really compensate for that. It's coming to this next quarter. Oh, almost hit Ownage there. I have to be aware of the lag. So, I do a fast up of his confirmation stop. Oh, as he gets some overs today, holds me up a bit. Couldn't do a lot about that. I think that's a bit of a wheelie there with the lag. I'm not using my curves, going to save it for the exit of the next corner. Nice and close to him now, though. 190 miles an hour. Can I outbreak him? He's been breaking pretty early. I'm going to go for it. Going to dive him very much up the inside. I'm going to have to avoid Christian there. And I did outbreak myself, but not by loads. I'm still on the track. That would have been a legal move if I'd managed to stay alongside him. So, certainly, I'm breaking a lot later than the guys ahead. And I use all my curves then, coming up very close to Ownage then. He's gone to the inside. I'm going to have to go around the outside then. No, he's managed to cover that off break late enough. But I'm going to try and undercut him here. I'm going to do it. And yes, I managed to get a better exit. So I'm undercutting him here alongside him then. Coming to the rock. Oh, so it's going to be on the outside of him though. He's going to push me right out wide off the circuit a little bit. And we're very much side by side now, but he's got the inside line to the next corner. So, oh, as he pushes me right out wide there. Again, not his fault, but I expect him to, I think it's a bit of lag to be honest, I expect him to turn in early in that. And I nearly, nearly winded up in the gravel. I had to really try and avoid that gravel. Just about managed to do so, but I've lost out there. That's okay, just need to work now to get the gap back, as I said. Oh, I ran very wide there. Lost me a bit of time. Don't want to be that far out. As I said before though, I seem to be breaking later than him. So hopefully, when I do catch him, I can break later. So Christian must have made a mistake, caught that back up to him, still just about got off the track, haven't quite managed to nail the speed for that corner yet. I haven't really done any practice in the wet, so it's not helping. So now, reasonably close, once again I've gained on him, I think, in the braking zone there. Neither of those seem to be particularly confident in the brakes, which is good, that should hopefully be where I'm able to overtake them. As we are now 4 minutes 40 by no ridge, apparently, clearly some sort of glitch there, that's not right. I'm still on rich now, trying to close the gap once again. They're not side by side, so they haven't been holding each other up too much, but... Lots of lag there for him, which I think he has run wide. But not too badly. And once again, I think I break a little bit later than them and managed to nail it, but I think they managed to get a better exit than me, unfortunately. As once again, I think I've gained on them under braking, so as I said, very much I seem to be braking late in them with confidence. Oh, I'm never really worried. I'm just going to lock my brakes. As now I'm just half a second behind the ridge, so. Back to being nice and close to him. Got to stand up fuel though now to try and save some fuel. And into the final sector then he's stick nice and close so I'm hopefully getting his slipstream down the very long straight. It isn't really a straight, it curves a lot, but it's straight enough for a Formula 1 car. Absolute full fault, no worries about that. Just trying to get a good line on the final corner, cut it a little bit too much. Now on Rich then, do another purple, fastest of anyone, 24.1. So I missed my apex there, that pushes me wide. So just seven tenths behind Ownage, I'm going to cross the line then. I really gained on him in the first corner. With that little mistake. So I've caught the grass a bit there, but he's got a pretty good exit. But I'm nice and close to him now. Can use my curves, I might. I am indeed. I wonder how much I'm going to use. Here we go. Use half of it, just half. Hopefully I'm in a slipstream now. I am, you can see the camera shaking, so closing on him, but not going to be near anywhere near enough. Close enough for mine to try and move. No, nope, but I do certainly close in on him. He's running a little bit wide there as well. A lot closer, got my curves as well, but I think he must have some, judging by the fact by how much he's pulling away. So once again, still too far away to pull a move into this next corner. But we'll see. Lap 5 then of 34. Oh, was he run wide there? I'm allowed to get past, but no, that was lag. <laughs> got my hopes up there. It looked like he ran wide, but that unfortunately was just lag, he never ran wide. So 10th down on previous, but of course my previous was the fastest lap, so... It's not too bad. As I'm now four tenths away from Ownage, so a little bit closer than last lap. Out on standard fuel once again. So it looks like he ran a little bit wide there. Cost him perhaps a tenth. 
Now getting my foot hard and throw. Expect I'll be going for Rich soon to try and close in on them. So that was a new fastest lap, but not fastest of anyone. 24-0, but I think Christian must have gone faster. He has indeed, 23-7, so a few tenths up on me. Nice lap from him. So six tenths by Neri once again now. Getting a wheel on the grass again. On Rich now, but no, I suspect I'll be too far back once again to do anything about it. Six tenths we cross that line. I'm using a bit more cars. But no, maybe nowhere near close enough. That's okay, just bide my time. Right, strong point in the race is consistency. So hopefully he won't mistake as he's sort of run a bit wide there. But he'll get a better exit because of it. But not quite a perfect exit. I'm closer than the last lap, I would say. But I'm not going to be close enough once again to pull a move, unfortunately. Have a look at the inside just in case. But no, as, uh, he's run wide there, though. He's run right out wide. Look at that. He's off the circuit. And I managed to sneak past him. I have indeed. Yes, I'm past him. So I think he must have locked his brakes. Paul possibly got on the curb on the outside there. But it wasn't great from him. But that's allowed me to get up to second place. Hopefully I can now push and try and catch Christian ahead. He's now 1.5 ahead. Of course, I need to make sure... I'm watching from behind as well. That's good. Christian isn't really in the championship hunt anymore after missing a couple of races. Quitting one and missing the next one, I believe. So, to come on the final corner now, pushing hard. Need to keep Ernie away from me, but also need to try and gain on Christian if I can. Oh, cut the corner a little bit there. Need to be careful when he just ran wide. So, yeah, as I said, not really in the championship hunt with Christian. He's a little way off it now, but Onage very much is, as I said before the race. He is just nine points behind me in the championship. I'm leading it at the moment, so even if it's only one place ahead, all I need to do is keep finishing ahead of him, and hopefully the championship will be mine. So I'm getting a little bit on Christian, I believe, about a tenth. Of course, the last laps are not a lot. So it looks like he might have run a bit wide, but survived, break a little bit too late. Got away with it. Onage isn't going to be close enough to me. Go back to the standard of fuel now then. I'm going to try and conserve a bit of that plus two for when I get hopefully in a battle with Christian. As you can see the lines starting to appear there, the arrows. Indicating that only just close behind me, so he's certainly not dropping back from me. Coming to in the second sector now then. I'm up purple fast of anyone, but as I Christian match that, he's still only 1.5 ahead of me. So, unless I have a stellar final sector, I suspect Christian will probably get the fastest lap, not me. Since I believe we started the lap 1.4 between us, didn't we? Let's come on the final corner now then. Get on throttle. As early as possible. A hard throttle now. And we just falling back a little bit from me, but not a lot. He's still staying wind. Reach. 23-7 from me, but I believe Christian just beat that. It's a little bit wide there. Even went down to fourth then, but still ran a bit wide. That's 1.7 to Christian now. So yes, he's at that point six. Fantastic final sector from him there. In two tenths on me. Final sector hasn't been my strong point. But I've not been too far off really. It's just not been my best thing. But I've now gone for using a lot of my curves to stay away from Erich behind. And I'm also on Rich. I'll go to standard now then. He's too far back to do anything about it. There's, oh, Christian's run wide there though. Christian's run right out wide. He must have locked his brakes and run completely wide. That gives me the lead of the race. And only just made a little bit of a mistake. They've got a bit of oversteer. So lead of the race then for me due to Christian's mistake. I won't be complaining too much about that one. He went miles off the track. He must have locked perhaps both front wheels heavily. And just went completely off the circuit. That's allowed me to take the lead. So yes, he was fast, but possibly pushing too hard, causing him to make a mistake. I've lost that three tenths now, probably with the excitement of seeing Christian skate off. She's concentrating on Onage now. Christian's 3.6 back. Hopefully that'll be enough to keep him away for the race. So we were very similarly paced before we went off. Here we go then, coming around the final corner once again. He's only closer to me. He's not, he's much further back now. He's definitely further back. As eight tenths back is, it's run wide again, need to be careful of that. But yes, eight tenths back only is. So hopefully I can pull back that gap out now to over a second, get him out of my slipstream, hopefully start pulling away. Get a nice comfortable win. To win this race, if it was to finish like this, be first, image second. I've gained seven, so what would that be? Plus 16. So I'd be 16 points ahead of Onage, I believe. That would be very nice indeed. Does that break very late? This corner, though, can I get all slowed down? Just about. I missed my Apex, but I managed to get all slowed down. And get a decent enough exit. So I haven't really lost any time there, luckily. Well, skillfully, not luckily. <laughs> 
as we now come through the second sector. Lap 9 of 34 then. And Emmett is still following reasonably close behind me. Eight tenths it is, so he's still pretty close though. He's certainly not giving up easily. And one standard now is hopefully conserving enough fuel. I will now probably only use Rich if he gets near me. And I need to. Coming around the final corner now then. Coming on to lap 10 we will be. Let's see what the gap's going to be. Looks like he might close it a little bit. No, it's still 8 tenths. That's not too bad. That's just about much. Should not extend there. Oh, just have a right out wide though. Ran wide there. Probably cost him some time, so I could well be a second ahead of him now. That would be nice. Unless so someone's boshed the barrier on the outside, they have to avoid the blue bits. Just about managed to do so, and he doesn't. He collects both of them, I think. Yep. And he is indeed just over a second behind. So lap 10 then. And I am winning this race. Only by a second to Ownage. Christian isn't really closing the gap. 2.6 behind, as I suspected. Or was it 3.6? Perhaps he's closing the gap. I'll keep my eye on that. Hopefully he's on Rich Stone. He's all his fuel for years closing the gap. That's okay. Oh, I've run a bit wide there. I think I got a bit distracted and just turned in a bit late. But I got away with it, didn't really lose any time. Perhaps half a tenth, maybe a tenth, but not too bad. See, in the second set of nothing, we will get another gap. That's only one and a half hundredths down on previous, so it's pretty consistent from me. And it is now nine tenths to Ernage, so it's pretty close. Still managed to more or less maintain that gap, and apparently 13 minutes to Christian, which clearly isn't right. I hope we get a proper gap at the end of this lap. What was it, 2.6? At the beginning of the, this last lap. Let's see if I manage to extend it. Come across the line now then. And I do manage to improve, 24-2, but we unfortunately skipped that. But we were able to see it, but it's only two laps later now, I believe. And you can see a dry line sort of starting to form. That's allowed me a lot easier to me manage to not cut or extend that. The little line is allowing me to turn in easier, get a good guide of where to turn in. Difficult for, couldn't really see much, but Owenage is only now three tenths behind me. Christian's 5.4, so it's, he's actually lost time, but only just managed to gain time on me. He's very close, but deep behind now. Going to go to Rich Mixture, probably use all my curves, I should imagine. Very close behind, only three tenths behind, so he's had a magic last couple of laps. Possibly use Rich, I'm going to stick to the middle of the track now. If he wants to go tight, he can. But you know, he's braked nice and early. Being cautious. And probably eased off the brakes since he then went on the outside of me, and yes, I managed to stay ahead. So just by sticking to the inside, put the pressure on Owenage. Made to make a choice, you can either dive deep up the inside and probably lock your brakes to be honest and run wide. And I would then undercut him. Or you can try it on the outside, which probably isn't going to work. And you actually wind up braking early. A bit conservative there, but opted for the outside. That's now half a second to ownage. So it's still pretty close. Up 13 of 34 then. We're just over a third of the way through this race. I am still leading it now. Five seconds to Christian, so I think we have got the measure of him. He would do well to close this gap now, I believe. But I think I managed to pull out enough for Gap on Ernage now. He just about, I would say, with the dirty air. So we now skip another lap or so to go to lap 16, which is the lap I will pit because I said on the radio to Ernage that I will pit on this lap. I have a choice. Lap 17 is where I'm supposed to be pitting, but I have a feeling that new intermediates will give me more grip, which of course I want, and since I'm the lead car, I get to choose whether I will pit first. So hopefully that'll allow me to break a bit of a gap to Owenage as Christian's also coming to the pits. I think now there's a fast lap of the race on his brand new tyres, 23-0. I think he came in a lap or two ago, so he's been on a little while, so he might well be warm by the end. So that's his strategy, trying to Close the gap onto us. I'm pitting early. We'll see if it works. But I've managed to put another little bit of a gap out to Ownage. Looks like I will pit this lap. And hopefully, manage to undercut him and pull out a couple of seconds on him that will hopefully last to the end of the race. That's the plan, as he's certainly falling back now. 1.5. I guess it's bad what it was when I started the lap, actually, but he's certainly not gaining on me anyway. That's so, all oh, get a bit of oversteer though. Didn't wind up correcting it, otherwise I'd have wound up in the gravel. Just let it slide itself out. And then it brings itself back in, so it's like, I had to take a very tight line there. We just managed to get into the pits. 
That's now what I am in. And then we just stay out. He won't bother stacking behind me. He'll lose two more seconds by doing that. Probably lose about five seconds by doing that. So he'll stay out. He'll push for this final lap. See what he can do. So a new, brand new set of intermediate tyres then. 2.87 stop. So good stop there. So I'll go to standard. And looks like Christian there. Coming on the outside of me, I believe it is. The Christian. No, it's Force India. He ran wide though. Might have been up near me, but he ran wide luckily and wasn't quite able to get close to me. I think it's include. Force India. Christian does a new fast lap operation at 22.8. And has just about managed to stay ahead of Christian. That's good. So Christian's only two seconds behind me now, so he's certainly gained in that pit stop phase. Certainly gained. But luckily I've still come out ahead of him. And it's now 13.2 to ownage ahead. So hopefully I can close that down in this middle sector. To around 12 and a half would be nice. Gain another seven tenths on him. So I'm gonna be pushing hard now, but of course I don't really know how much grip I'm gonna give me. So I'm breaking late. I'm just hoping it will give me the grip, which it is so far. It's been a good lap. That's my G now tells me we're at optimal fuel to go to mix two. 12.2, so yes, yeah, gain a second on him in that middle sector alone. Hopefully gain a little bit more in the final sector. So I should be plenty ahead of him. Something weird happens in this final sector. Quite a bit wide there, but it's not too bad. The question now is just behind me. He's managed to overtake, include. Coming around the final corner. Here we go, going to be crossing the line. Only just still in the pits. Will he come out ahead of Christian? It's going to be close. Let's have a look. Yes, I'm ahead of him. You don't see him there coming out of the pits, but will he come out ahead of Christian? He is ahead at the moment, but Christian will come on the outside of him. Let's look at the mini map now. You see only just still ahead, so it looks like yes, he will manage to stay ahead, but it's pretty close. It's pretty tight stuff. Christian does another fastest lap though, it's a 22.6. That's over a second quicker than my best lap. See if I can match on this lap though. I'm still getting the feel for these tyres though, as I said. I'm not really sure where the grip is. It doesn't change too much, but it does certainly give you more grip. Brand new set of intermediates. There's now 2.3 seconds to ownage, so I have gained. Although, only about half a second. So not gained massively. Overall, I suspect now I'll probably start gaining more. Christian's like actually managed to get past him. So that's not really good because Christian's quick. We've seen that by his fastest laps. Hopefully, only to be battling with him, slowing each other down, and allowing me to pull ahead nicely. What's the gap going to be now? It is three seconds, so it's a little bit more. So that's okay. Hopefully, that'll be enough to take me to the end now. Looks like I managed to match Christian's pace. We'll see when we cross the line. So hopefully it should be into the 22s. 23.7 is my current best. Christian did a 22.7. So hopefully this, tap, this lap time will be into the 22s. Let's see. It's indeed purple. Fast as anyone. 22.6. So talk about matching Christian. I managed to beat him on that particular lap. I so now skip a few more laps ahead to lap 26. And it's now 5.8 to Christian behind. I can tell you that they battled for a few laps. But we couldn't really see it. Hence me skipping it. Then only to start to close me down. He was about two seconds away from me. So he managed to close me down by about a second or two. And then made his mistake. He made a mistake. The exact same mistake that Christian made. Into this next hairpin. Locked his wheels. I'm not sure if it both his fronts or what. But he certainly locked up and went wide. Lost about five seconds or so. Much like Christian. And that put him back behind Christian. Which is why he's now 2.3 behind. And Christian, after getting overtaken by Onich, I think he more or less gave up. Resigned himself to third place because he fell back quite a bit from us. Well, perhaps it was his fuel, perhaps it was his tyres, not really sure. But now, Harry just managed to fall behind him. So, I sort of want my teammates to do well as I'm now on Rich, though. Going for a fast lap, this has been working so far. I'm six tenths up my previous purple, fast as anyone. I see, I'm sort of hoping for Onich to finish second because he's my teammate. It would be nice to get another one, too. But we've pretty much already sealed up the constructors, really. We're miles ahead, so it's quite likely we'll win that anyway. So in terms of pure championship, I'd rather we finish third to gain an extra three points on him. But come around the line now. Will it be a fastest? It will indeed. A 22.202, six tenths of my previous. Fastest of anyone as we now come to lap 32 or 34. So a few laps later on, and you can see now Owens is just half a second behind Christian. So it's very, very close between them two at the moment. Now goes a further 20 seconds back. Well, so somehow these last top three managed to pull out a reasonably sized gap to the rest of the field. Look at the minimap. They're all really inside one sector and we're just a whole sector ahead. How strange. 
not sure what's going on there, but I'm not complaining since I'm leading this race. I'm looking good for a win now. 32 or 34, so it's this lap and two more laps to go to take my fifth win of the season. Mikey does the fastest lap now. Unfortunately, he steals it off me. 22 0, two tenths up on me, so decent lap for him, especially on worn tyres, but he did, of course, have less fuel. I'm going to lean because I'm on minus one from that fastest lap I did. I've run wide though, right out wide. And that, I put this lap in because that was my only mistake for the entire race. I didn't make any other bigger mistakes. Ahead of the so you see, I lost half a second straight away. And I will lose more time in this final sector. There's three tenths now between Christian and Onage, so it'll be a good battle between them two. But yes, five seconds now coming to two laps left, so. There need to be two and a half seconds a lap quicker than me, which is unlikely, without mistakes. As you can see there, I lost a second on that lap without mistake. But it was relatively small compared to the, what, the mistake the guys behind me had made. And it was more through lack of concentration. I just lost it. And I now come to the final lap of the race. It's only 3.6 now. I've been just taking it easy, cruising, using the gap that I had. Christians, of course, has been pushing, probably using his reach as well if he had me. To try and defend from Onage. And I'll use all of my curves because I might as well. 3.8 it is now, more or less, to Christian behind. Only half a second between him and Enrich then. Can Enrich manage to get past? This is probably the last chance he's going to get. If not, we'll be into the next corner. Let's look on the mini map then. Uh, very much top of each other, we can't really tell. Let's have a look. Looks like Enrich is on the inside as he managed to stay ahead. Do he need to get a better exit? Look at the top left gap now. Christian looks like he's still ahead, but depends what happens into this next corner. Enrich has actually got his nose ahead now. We can't see it. I'm going to be too much around this corner. As looks like someone's run wide there. Someone's lost out. And I think it might have been Christian. Yep, looks like it was Christian. Yes, it was indeed. So only just managed to take second place by the looks of it. Unless he makes a mistake into the final sector. But they've lost a further three seconds battling each other to me. So my gap will be back out to around seven seconds or so, I should think. I'm now on lean. To come around the final corner and take my fifth win of the season out of nine races. 34 laps in the rain, and you see there's 6.3 to Onage in the end, and Christian did indeed finish third. So I didn't quite manage to get the fastest lap, two tenths off that or so, but not close. If you look at the fastest laps, they're the best. We're all into the 22, so it was actually really close. I think just inconsistency from the rest of the field caused cost on the time. As we now have a look at the championship then. So confirmation that I am now 16 points ahead of Onage in the championship, so just the break I needed. So fantastic. So hopefully that's enough then, hopefully I can maintain that gap, or hopefully increase it ideally, but 9 points wasn't so much since one race win from Onage, even if I was second, would have put in just 2 points behind me. Well, yeah, behind me, but now 16 points is a much bigger lead. That's by far the most I've ever led an ARL Championship, so I'm very happy with that, and fingers crossed I can win again in Hungary. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.